Good day. Welcome to Part Time Cruisers. I'm Unreal and this is Amber. And First off, I actually, let's thank those new subscribers we have. Thank you. Today, we're going to talk about things you should expect when it comes to cruising in 2021. To break this down, we're going to cover this video in several sections. We're going to talk about getting on the cruise, eating on the cruise, events and activities that you'll do while you're on the cruise, as well as excursions. Now, while you're down there, smacking that like and, sub and subscribe buttons, we'll also have timestamps that you can click to fast forward to any sections that you particularly care about. The first thing we're going to talk about is things to help you start your cruise off right going to want to do some pre-registration. This is something that's always been recommended. However, you are going to also have to do a health form 24 hours before um, sailing. So that's going to be a new additional health form that you didn't have to fill out before that you're now going to need to do 24 hours before. One of the other things that you're going to need to think about before you head to embarkation is your luggage. Your luggage is going to possibly be sanitized um, before going on to the cruise ship. So you're going to want to make sure that whatever luggage you have, whatever you have in your luggage, it's okay if it gets a little damp from their sanitation or whatever. Uh, or pack it on the inside so that you don't have to worry about things bleeding. One of the other things that you're going to need to remember um, on embarkation um, is to make sure that you bring your masks because even if you are vaccinated, this rule continues to go, kind of go up and down, but most people have to wear masks vaccinated or unvaccinated when they're going through that terminal because that's an indoor area. Um, so you're going to make sure you have your mask and go through that process. Um, vaccination is going to be important. Um, some cruise lines right now are asking for you to verify vaccination before you actually get to the cruise terminal um, so that there aren't any issues um, with asking for that vaccination. Um, some cruise uh, lines are actually asking for you to have that vaccination card and prove that when you arrive at the terminal. Uh, so make sure that you think about that as well as depending on what port you are leaving from, um, you may have to actually have testing on embarkation or um, testing prior to embarkation. So that is something that you wanna look into um, before you start your cruise. One other thing, um, and this is something that we hope sticks around, uh, everyone who's accustomed to cruising is familiar with having to do the mustard drills. Everybody stands, out stands outside and forms a line in the hot sun, and uh, you wait for everybody to get there so they can give you instructions on you know, how to put on the um, life jacket and where the boats are and what have you. And you're like... This. Yeah, yeah, you're all crammed into one area like sardines. So uh, now, uh, at least Royal Caribbean, and I know there are a couple other companies as well that are doing it. They're doing apps. Um, so you can just get on your cell phone. Um, I think MSC is actually doing uh, something uh, on the TV. But you essentially are doing it on your own time as soon as you get on as soon as you get on the boat get in your room you whip out your phone and you can go start going start going through the mustard drill uh or turn on the tv and start going through the mustard drill and if that still doesn't work for you they still actually do have people you can go to to get private tutor slash mustard uh drill lessons so uh it's definitely something that we actually hope sticks around because i don't know about you but i didn't really like the mustard drills yeah i definitely hope it's something that sticks around you still have to go um and kind of get verified that you have done it um on your actual uh card so that is something to keep in mind but it is reducing the amount of people and exposure um, because you're kind of doing it on your own time and people are coming in waves. Um, but that is something that you're going to want to think about when you are starting to board. All right. So the next thing we're going to talk about are the buffets. Uh, now, if you recall, buffets on cruises used to just be you just run upstairs and uh, just get in line, grab whatever you wanted and go sit down. Some people didn't get in line. That used to bother me. Fair enough. So things have changed a little bit. So due to social distancing, um, there's a good chance you might have to wait in line. Um, some places will uh, let you register um, or sign up to come to the buffet so you don't have to wait in line. Um, but if you're sort of 
free balling into uh, getting in, uh, going up to get something to eat, then there's a chance you're going to wait in line simply due to the amount of people they're going to allow in the buffet area. Um, when you actually get into the buffet area, buffet area, excuse me, there's two people that you may end up bumping into. There might be somebody there with one of those little heat gun things to check your temperature. <laughs> You know what I mean, the temperature <laughs> thing. temperature taker, <laughs> a thermometer. Uh, yeah, digital thermometer, uh, laser gun thingy. <laughs> And there may be another person there uh, emphasizing or pointing you to either a, a full-blown hand-washing station or a sanitizing station. Cruises already had those uh, stations set up when you walked into the buffets, but a lot of people just walked right on past them. That's no longer going to be the case. They're now going to require you to wash your hands or sanitize. Now, when it comes to actually grabbing your food, another change is now... Almost all the buffets, at least all the buffets so far and the buffets that we are aware of are actually, you're no longer going to be grabbing the food yourself. Now it's going to be a crew member actually giving the food to you. So the same way uh, if you wanted a fresh cut piece of ham, you'd go over to the ham station and there'd be a gentleman or a lady with the carving knife and they would carve the ham and gently put it on your plate. Moving forward, expect all uh, the buffet items to be served that way. Even the uh, unlimited ice cream stations are typically going to have somebody there doing the ice cream for you. Um, so uh, all the reviews that we've seen so far, whether it's been from reading or watching or listening, have indicated that this has actually felt pretty nice. So uh, don't stress about it. Don't worry about it. Um, they haven't been cheating people on portions or anything along those lines. So just enjoy it. Um, some cruises, I know Virgin is, was already planning on doing this, and I expect other cruise lines to do this as well, is they're doing a little bit more pre-packaging of their food. So um, you may not just see everything out and about. You might see a cake already on the plate with something covering over top of it. Um, and you may be able to just grab those yourself. But for the most part, expect somebody to be there to give you food, to uh, take your temperature and to tell you to wash your hands. On food, let's talk about your dining experience. So most people will pick between anytime dining or uh, early or late time in the dining room. So if you pick anytime dining, I would assume that you probably will have to wait a little bit longer because you're gonna to have to have some type of social distancing going on in that dining room that isn't going to be provided uh, naturally. With your early and late time dining, I assume that they're just gonna cut off the capacity once they reach that capacity. Um, one thing that I think you will see in the dining room differently um, is the fact that you're going to need your cell phone because all the menus um, now are going to either be QR codes or through their apps. Um, which I actually like because then I can look at it way beforehand. Um, yeah, he doesn't like that. But I like the fact that I can look at the app and decide, oh, this is what I want for dinner. And then she has to sit there while the rest of us decide what we want, but nonetheless. Or I can decide just to opt out of going to the dining room and we could go to the buffet. Um, but either way, I QR codes are definitely going to be something that you are going to have to do with um, menus. Um, you can ask for a menu, but most of them right now are using the QR code and asking you to do the cell phone. Um, the other thing that I think you're going to see, um, and this is something that you're really just going to have to be patient about um, throughout the entire ship, is because we have all this extra cleaning going on and the people in the buffet, you're going to have less servers um, in the main dining room to be able to do those creations, especially in like the specialty dining. We got, we had a uh, dessert art um, done for us at the table and I don't think they're going to be doing as many of those things because they're just not gonna have the people to do it because of the extra staffing in the buffet, as well as just extra cleaning and staffing throughout um, the ship. Talked about getting on the ship. We talked about eating on the ship. Now let's talk about having fun on the ship. So, when you first purchase your ticket, you'll uh, often get reminded that, hey, this carnal, I mean, this uh, cruise line has an app for your cell phone. 
go ahead and download those applications. Uh, the apps for your cell phone are going to help you keep track of any events that you've registered for. And I highly, we highly recommend registering for as many events as possible, as far ahead as possible. With reduced capacity that they have, there's a better chance that you're going to be stuck waiting in line or just it's not going to be available for you if you don't go ahead and register for events as soon as possible. Um, when it comes to doing some of the things like the show, the shows and performances, they already are putting multiple seats between seats for social distancing purposes. So they just don't have the space. So uh, this also means that even if they do have the space, you might be stuck waiting in longer lines if you aren't pre-registered. So go ahead, get those apps and go ahead and pre-register. Something else to anticipate is going to be a focus on safety. Um, please be patient and please pay attention. There'll probably be signs up. You're going to get daily announcements about making sure that you have your mask with you. Um, there's going to be downtime between events. If they, let's say there's a common area and they have a, a live band performing and then they have a comedian coming uh, after that, there might be some downtime in between where they have somebody coming in with one of those Ghostbuster backpacks and spray sanitizing the area. And you may need to just clear out. So be patient and help them keep everybody safe. So maybe you're not a person who wants to schedule everything and you're more a fun in the sun type person. So we're going to kind of talk about some expectations that you should have when you're poolside. So if you are poolside, some cruises are asking you to wear a mask unless you are actually in the pool. So if you're sunning, you're going to need to have a mask with you. You might want to uh, have a towel clip or your lanyard or something to attach that to when you decide to go into the pool. If you're one of those people who love the sun, love the beach, then you probably are also going to end up going to the beach when you go on to your ports. Um, if that is the case, you're going to want to make sure that you do a little bit of research on that particular port to know the rules and regulations of that beach and whether you need to have your mask or not because it's really going to depend on the area that you're going to. And one thing that he specifically is a big stickler for is making sure that if you have those masks that you throw them away um, when you're done with them so that they're not just littered everywhere don't make captain planet sad <laughs> so that is something that you're going to want to make sure that you do is do that research and make sure that you throw that mask away to make sure that they are going to continue to want cruises to come to port two tips two real quick two tips um one sandwich bags or snack bags before you leave, make sure to bring a couple with you. They're terrific for just throwing a few extra masks in and leaving in whatever bag you have with you when you're going to the pool or to the beach such that your mask don't get wet because nobody wants a soggy mask. Also, before you go on a cruise, week before, hop on Amazon and just order a pack of 50 to bring with you. It'll just keep things simple. Another thing that you're going to want to research um, if you're not going to the beach are what excursions you can take. Each cruise line is a little bit different. Um, they're allowing some people to um, book excursions outside of the ship and explore on their own and then other passengers have to stick with the cruise excursions. So you really want to make sure you've done your research and know whether you are able to kind of explore on your own as well as making sure that you know those rules just like for the beach. And while we're recording this in June, that is definitely a moving target. So unfortunately, you're going to have to keep your ears to the street because those rules could change. Uh, All of it can change yeah, so, within hours. So so make sure that before, uh, maybe a week before your cruise, uh, you hop online and see if your cruise line is going to let you register an excursion with a third party or if the requirement is through your cruise line. This thing that I would say with everything that we're giving you um, for this video is that you need to be patient uh, and flexible. Um, all of this is changing really rapidly. I mean, within the last three weeks, lots of cruise lines have changed their minds on many different things. Our government has changed their mind on many different things. Um, regards to vaccinated or non-vaccinated masks, no masks. Um, so just make sure that you go 
on the cruise ship and be flexible and also be courteous and kind and patient with everybody there. You're going to be happy to just be on a cruise ship since you haven't been on a cruise ship in... 15 months or more. Yeah, so just be patient and flexible with everybody and everything. Happy cruising. We're so excited that cruising has started. So we're going to make our next video on getting ready for your cruise. So if you have a cruise schedule, go ahead and subscribe and thank you for watching. Thanks.